All right, so I want to point out three organ systems in the fetal pig here. First, let's look at the respiratory system. So we have the head up here, we have the throat here, and the trachea has been exposed here. So this trachea is going to branch into two main branches and deliver air into the lungs. The lungs are these lobes right here. So it's a very spongy tissue, and we'll see what it looks like under the microscope. Uh, there's lots of room for air here. We now, of course, know that oxygen in the air will be absorbed into the blood in the lungs. So the lungs is doing gas exchange. Oxygen will be absorbed, and carbon dioxide will then be exhaled out of the animal. Now, when we breathe, we have muscles uh, lining our ribs that helps to expand the chest cavity, but also the diaphragm. So this tissue right here, this is a muscular tissue and that's the diaphragm. So when it contracts, it increases the volume of the chest cavity and that creates low pressure so air gets drawn in to the lungs. The circulatory system, of course, the heart is the key pump and the heart is going to receive blood from the body on the right side of the heart. Here's the right atrium and then the right ventricle is going to pump that blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen and then the blood will return to the left atrium and then the left ventricle will pump the blood out around the body. So we have a dual circulation system. And then digestion, of course the animal eats food, it goes down the esophagus, and if we look underneath the heart, we can see this structure right here, that flexible tube right there is the esophagus, and then we're gonna follow that underneath this large organ, that's the liver, and if we pick up the liver, we'll see this bag here, and that's going to be the stomach. So the uh, contents of the food will first uh, be digested in the stomach, and then the food will dump out into the small intestine. Here we see some of the small intestine, and then the small intestine connects up to the large intestine, and then out the animal. So those are three systems, the respiration, circulation, and digestion. So in ancient times, then, the question we're dealing with is why is it that we breathe? And so the ancients, the uh, ancient Greeks and the Romans, they knew, of course, that air was entering the body through the trachea here and down into the lungs. The question was, what was the purpose of this? And in fact, the Roman physician Galen did not really understand the relationship between the heart and the lungs. So let's just briefly recap Galen's physiology. He thought food enters the body and is uh, digested in the digestive tract, and then the nutrients from the food go to the liver. And in the liver, the food gets converted into blood. Now, this fetal pig is old, and we don't see much color in any of the internal organs, but uh, if, in a fresh cadaver, you would see the liver as sort of a dark color. And so it may be one of the reasons why Galen thought blood was created in the liver. Uh, the blood made in the liver would wash through some big veins that go up to the heart. The right side of the heart would receive the blood from the liver. So now we have blood in the heart. Now Galen did not understand that the heart was going to pump the blood on the right side through the lungs and then the blood would come back on the left side of the heart and then be pumped out to the body. He did not understand that circulation of the blood from the heart to the lungs back to the heart. So what he thought was going on is the blood entered on the right side and then made its way through the wall separating the two ventricles called the septum into the left side of the heart. So the blood in the right side of the heart went right to the left side of the heart. Now there was some blood that left the right side and it just kind of washed and nourished the lungs and whatnot, but the blood that went going to the lungs did not come back to the heart on the left side. He thought blood could move from the right side to the left side. Now what about the lungs? He thought air in the lungs was being delivered down into the left side of the heart. So it was in the left side of the heart that an important process took place. Air was mixing with the blood in the left side of the heart. And the heart had a, had a heat to it, and he thought there was some kind of sort of almost like a refining process going on. The blood was being refined as it was heated and mixed with air. And it was given uh, new properties, and then the left side of the heart then would be where the blood leaves through the arteries, and, and that newly refined blood would uh, nourish the organs. 
So you can kind of see just in looking at the chest cavity here, it's not immediately clear how all these organs are connected and what is their functional relationship. So it took a long time to figure this out. Now Galen's ideas lasted for centuries until the 1600s when people started to do actual experimental investigations to figure out the functions of these organs.